100.7 WBZ. We got another edition of the show today, y'all. When you flip on your switch and the lights come on, hey, that is UBT at work, y'all. When you turn on the faucet and the water come running down, y'all. As again, also, that's it's UBT at work. All right, when you lose power in the lineman, get your power back on. Again, that's UBT in the building, y'all. All right, and the super service is something else that UBT does. The man in charge, the utility system, is Gerald Long, y'all. <laughs> he has been with the U UBT uh, for 10 years, uh, serving first as the chief financial officer. And now he's the general manager. Y'all stand up and give a big round of applause, y'all, for Gerald Long in the building, y'all. Let's go. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, Mr. Gerald Long in the building. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Get, get a little closer to the, the mic. Yeah, you can you're just any kind of way you want to. Pull it to you, tuck it down, however you want to. All right. You're the man. We're together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is 100.7 FM WUBZ with DJ Booty Rush. <laughs> Hear good. Me TV. Tuskegee Virtual TV. Channel 181 in town. Right. Channel 19 on campus with Pat Wallace, director, Kimberly Wright, Butch Baxter, and Jordan. <laughs> Did I get it right, Jordan? Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> good afternoon, good afternoon, good yes, afternoon. Sir. We got a lot of uh, new stuff that you guys doing ubt yes. and the people out there in the community they want to know and yes. the best place to learn it from is the person himself get it Mr. Straight from yes. the cat, uh, horse's mouth. house's mouth you know yes, what i'm sir. talking about yes sir <laughs> yes sir yeah one one of the uh, new service offerings that we have is called prepay okay and prepay is similar to people using their smartphones to buy minutes and uh, younger people are familiar with this type, this type of service okay. because they use these, uh, these things exclusively. Almost. Oh, yeah. They keep them uh, right in their hands. Right. So uh, with prepay, what uh, customers will be able to do is purchase uh, utility services in advance. Okay. And so right now the way our services are structured uh, prior to us implementing prepay is that a customer comes in, we uh, do a credit rating on them. That determines the amount of deposit that they are going to be required to put up. Okay. And then once they put the deposit up, we implement the service for them. Okay. Um, with prepay, we're eliminating the deposit. And sometimes that deposit can be a hardship for right, our right, customers. Right, and we right. realize that uh, because uh, uh, some, in some instances, the deposit can be as much as $400. Okay. So with prepay, that goes out of the out of the window. Great, great. So our customers come in. They say they want to sign up for prepay. Okay. All they need to do is come in and have sixty five dollars. That purchases their uh, first block of service. And let's say we got a customer that is a, a current customer who wants to switch to prepay. Okay. And they have a balance that's still owing us. Okay. Uh, we can work out a situation where we can defer payment on that balance as old they put the 65 dollars on the books and each time uh, uh, that they come in and put more money on the books once they've uh, exhausted the 65 dollars we'll take 25 percent and apply it against that previous balance they had okay and the 75 percent is on the books okay and so um let's just say uh they have all the 65 dollars available mm -hmm. We're going to send them out alerts every day okay. on their smartphones or they can log into their computer and uh, set up an account where they can monitor what's happening with their account. They'll get, uh, uh, they can say, I want to get an alert by text message or I want you to send me an email or I want you to call me. And what we'll do is send them that alert and tell them how much they used on the previous day. 
Okay. So let's say they put sixty-five dollars on on the books and they they use ten dollars. Okay. They'll get another. That says, okay, you use uh, ten dollars yesterday, and now you have fifty-five left on the, on the books. Oh. Okay. And each day they'll get alerts, and once they start getting close to zero, they'll get alerts that says uh, that'll tell them they need to come in and put more money on. The oh, books. okay. And it's similar to a. Uh, uh, a person buying minutes, like I said, once they uh, exhaust those minutes, that phone will no longer work. In the same way, uh, their utilities, their electric service, if they uh, go to zero, mm -hmm. it'll shut off automatically. Uh, but they can put my, more money on the books right from our office. We can turn uh, the services back on. Because what we have now on all of our customers are smart meters. Okay. And those meters are, are two-way communication meters. Mm -hmm. And um, the, we can communicate with that meter from our office, and uh, that meter can, can communicate to us uh, from the uh, a customer's location okay. and tell us how much uh, uh, their readings are and uh, even uh, down to whether or not a customer has a water leak. Uh, those meters are that smart. They'll tell us that. Wow. So that's a, a very good service. It, it, prepay is not for everybody. The, a large majority of our customers don't have a problem with their service. They don't have a problem with paying their bills in a timely manner. But some people who are on an income where they don't want a big bill at the end of the month, $200, $300, uh, they can uh, – in, enroll in prepay and and just put the, that sixty five dollars on on the books initially. When they get close to zero, they can put some more money on the books and and whittle that down and 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 pay as they go. And that's similar to what we do with uh, when we buy fuel for a car. Uh, you pay for that fuel in advance. You haven't driven anywhere. Okay. Uh, but uh, once you uh, put the uh, fuel in the car, you can go. Right, right. And it'll take you as far as, uh, you know, a, a full gallon of gas will take you. Okay. That's that's similar to what prepay is. Okay, so you, uh, from my understanding, what you're saying is it's not mandatory. No, it's not mandatory. Okay, for the people out there, it's not mandatory. It's, no. it's by choices. This is a, 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 a service that you can elect. elect. Okay, gotcha. And gotcha. Uh, for the large majority of our customers, I wouldn't say prepay is for them right right but for students uh or other people who are, uh, are tied to their phones and tied to computers they may want that type of service okay. but there is another service offering that we have that is uh, called my usage or usage monitoring okay and what usage usage monitoring is is it's a service where uh we'll send alerts every day and tell them what they're, how much they're using. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's say a person signs up for my usage or, or usage monitoring. Uh, the very next day, they, uh, well, they'll indicate whether they want a text message or an email or whatever. Mm -hmm. The very next day, they'll get an alert okay. that will tell them yesterday the high temperature was whatever it was, 100, wow. 90 degrees. The low temperature for that day was 50 degrees or whatever it was, and you use uh, $10 worth of services okay. or $15 or whatever. Wow. And uh, so they can monitor their usage. And one thing that that will do is it will give them confidence that, uh, one, they, they are in control of their consumption. Right, right, right. And um, we've signed up some of our employees, and they've, they've – been able to better manage their situation because they see what's driving that consumption. Okay. Uh, and it helps, one, you you won't be surprised at the end of the month of what your bill is going to be because you'll see every day right. what you're using. And if you know that you're using $10 a day, then you can say 10 times 30, you may have a bill of $300 right. if, if that's what you're using. Day. Okay. Uh, and you what it'll also do is help them to know what's driving that consumption. Right. So what's driving the cost. And uh, most of our customers are going to find that what's really driving the cost is when they turn that air conditioner on. Yeah. Or when they uh, turn the heater on. Right. Because 
right. the house because those are the big drivers. That's right, right. And we are aware that um, a number of our customers, not a number, but some of our customers receive bills that are really out of line. Right. And uh, what we find in instances like that, a lot of times it's because they have a water leak that they are not even aware of. And a lot of those customers that have those issues live in rental property, and uh, sometimes the landlords are not as diligent as they should be in keeping those properties up. Right. Okay. But if a customer has a water leak, uh, that water is constantly running, and if it's on their side of the meter, that means that water flows through the meter. And all that meter is is a register. Right. And it's registering the consumption. Right. And so uh, at the end of the month, all, all that uh, uh, smart meter is going to do is tell us what the consumption is. Mm-hmm. It's going to uh, match it against our rates and send a bill out. Okay. And if a customer has an issue like that and they get that issue fixed, I oftentimes adjust their bill okay. so that uh, I'll, I'll wipe it out and bring it back to what they normally right. uh, would incur. Great. So our goal is to have happy customers. That's right. That's right. And uh, we understand that we can't please everybody, but right. our goal is to have uh, customers that are pleased with our services. Okay. And like you said, when when they flip that switch, yeah. they want power. Want power. And, <laughs> and that's our goal. <laughs> yeah. And, and we're proud that uh, our um, reliability rate is 99.9945%. That means 99% of the time when you go and flip the switch, you're going to have power. Uh, There are extenuating circumstances like when a storm blows through that we can't control, but the minute uh, our guys can get out there and make the repairs, they're going to be out there. Oh, man. So. Our goal is to have happy customers. I, I like to commend you guys on that too, Di, and I haven't got a chance to tell you that, you know, because we had a, uh, you know, the hurricane storm came through here about a couple of weeks ago, yes. and our power didn't even flinch. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You guys did a wonderful job, and I mean, I I was just expecting it. I went yep. and got my generator ready, right. just in case something did, you know, occur like that. Mm-hmm. But we had power throughout the whole duration. You know what I'm saying? And I like to commend you guys. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, that. and you guys did a really good job. If anything went out, it went on the side of my town. And you know let me saying? tell you. Uh, one thing that happened is we made a big investment okay. uh, in cutting back trees that are on power lines. Right, right, great. It's amazing the impact that those trees have on those lands. Sometimes they'll fall and break the land, mm-hmm. of course, but just touching the lands can cause issues. Right, right. And so we, uh, on a, a, a three-year basis, uh, contract with a contractor to come back and come come in and cut back the trees so that those trees are not on the lands the limbs are not impacting the lands that's a heavy investment it cost us approximately a million dollars uh every three years to do but we have to do it it. to uh, maintain that reliability that we have and that's one reason why your power didn't go out right Uh, we had some places where trees fell on the land right but uh our guys we typically uh, try to get power back on within two hours. Okay, great. At, at, a, at a max. That's great. That's great. You guys are doing real good. You guys were down in Florida too? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, indeed. We we not only went to Florida, our guys okay. went to Georgia. Okay. Uh, Griffin, Georgia. Um, we are uh, members of the Electric Cities of Alabama. Okay. And Electric Cities, uh, uh, they uh, coordinate with other uh, city. Uh, or state um, associations, wow. and they put a call out for help right. uh, for those areas that were impacted. And our guys went down to Griffin, uh, Georgia, Great. and we also went to uh, Florida okay. and help help them out down there. And we did a great job. Right. We've done that in the past. FEMA reimburses us for that cost okay. when we send send our guys out. But we went up to Huntsville uh, a few years ago when they had uh, an issue. Okay. And uh, our guys performed so well in Huntsville that uh, they didn't want our guys to leave. <laughs> they sent other crews back wow. and kept our guys on on, wow. uh, on standby so that they could help them out. That's great. So we're very proud of the work that our guys do. That's great. They are diligent, uh, hardworking people. Yeah, they are. They really are. Big shots out to UET. Big shots yes, out. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, and um, 
uh let's see what else we have we got going on with the uh ubt anything that you want to add to what you had already said well at one of our focuses is uh to definitely improve our customer service okay we've heard uh complaints that sometimes we're not uh customer as customer friendly as we need to be mm -hmm. and so that's an area that we're striving to improve on. Okay. Another thing that we do that people may not be aware of is we are strongly investing in economic development. Okay. Because we know that this community has to develop. Right. This community has a great history and a great legacy, but we can't live on that legacy. We <laughs> have to do something today. Uh, the students that come here, they need activities. Right. They need jobs in order to um, make them want to stay here. That's right. So just like Alabama Power does, we invest in economic development to try to draw industry to mm -hmm. this area. And it's it, it's going to pay dividends. And it, uh, we're seeing the results of it right now with the T100 project. Right, right. Where we're uh, in line to attract a military aircraft wow. uh, a manufacturing company okay. and um that's a, a, a i mean that is going to be a tremendous thing right there were about 145 locations that were competing for this 145 and 145 Ooh. cities and uh it has been whittled down to three locations okay and uh tuskegee is in the running okay so we got a, a one-third chance of, of landing okay. that contract, and I believe we're going to get it. We'll get it. And, and one reason why I believe we, we're going to get it is because um, Leonardo, the RS, which is the company that is going to uh, manufacture uh, okay. this uh, aircraft, has already produced the aircraft, and it is already a functioning aircraft. Okay. And it's a trainer aircraft uh, that um, – the Air Force uses to train their pilots in. Mm -hmm. And right now, the United Arab Emirates is using that very aircraft. Uh, Israel is using that aircraft, mm. and some other uh, countries are using that aircraft. The one, uh, the companies that uh, we are competing with, they have to build it from scratch. Wow. So we have a proven aircraft, uh, and if Israel is using it, right. it's a good aircraft. Right. If the United Arab Emirates is using it, it's a good, good aircraft. aircraft. Right. So we feel very good about the prospects, and those jobs are going to be high-paying jobs. Okay. They're going to be uh, there. Be some hundred thousand dollar per year jobs, seventy-five thousand wow. dollar per year wow. jobs. So we are very excited about that. We're also working to develop Exit Thirty Eight. Okay. And that's been uh, an ongoing project, and uh, expectations were raised above where they should have been that right. we were going to be further along. But right. uh, we expect probably within the next few months to start seeing some activity out there. Okay. okay. Uh, we've been awarded about $1.2 million in grant money okay. to do the uh, water line extension work. Uh, to do the uh, sewer line extension work, okay. to do electrical line extension work, wow. and to do some access road work. So we're going to start turning some dirt out All there. All right, turn some dirt. <laughs> yes, sir. We're going to start turning some dirt. And yeah. what we're uh, hoping to attract, and we have uh, uh, an interested party, we're hoping to attract uh, uh, a hotel out there. Okay. We also uh, want to attract some places to eat. Right. We want some places where we can sit down and sit eat. Sit down and eat. Yes, sir. We sir. want uh, places like uh, Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. Okay. That would be, that would be an ideal spot for Cracker Barrel. What? And and we're hoping we can attract something like that. What about Waffle House and stuff Waffle like that? House. Huddle House. Huddle House is definitely in the running. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we're, we're uh, talking about developing a convenience store that's a uh, fueling center for truckers. Right. And uh, in that same uh, uh, development, there's uh, going to be a huddle house and other places okay. to eat. So we're excited about it. Yes, 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 yes. Can't wait. I want to see that development. Yes, sir. Yeah. We need we need stuff like we that. We really do. We really do. And uh, the students need places where they can uh, go and eat. Right. And uh, also places where they can have fun at. Right. So hopefully uh, in the future, we'll see stuff like that developing. Any of those places going to be 24 hours? 
uh, that uh, uh, convenience store, uh, okay. it'll be a 24-hour uh, uh, deal. And uh, we're also uh, working with that uh, convenience store area to uh, get a Greyhound bus to uh, stop there. Wow. Because uh, we know that our students would uh, really yeah. need that. They really need it bad. Yeah. yeah. You're right about that. Great, great. So it's really good talking to you. you know that showing the five minute sheet up. We got five more minutes left. We got five more minutes with <laughs> DJ Moody <laughs> Rush in the building. <laughs> we had a great time talking to you, uh, Mr. Gerald Long, man. You are the general manager. Yes, sir. This is the man we're talking to, you guys. You hear me? We are talking to the man right now. <laughs> thank you, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and uh, uh, we'd like to thank you for coming on the show. Glad to be and here. And I'd like to thank my cast uh, over here, Virtual Television. We got Pat Wallace in the building. Big shouts out to him. Smart guy, Butch. Hey. Butch in the house. Butch in the, in the house. <laughs> Come on we got, now. We got Danielle. I mean. Uh oh, Danielle. Uh, uh, you supposed to look. Jordan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it slipped. I, I, I ain't doing a process. It slipped in that time. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jordan in the building. We got Motors in the building. Big shout out to you guys, man. Thanks. Thanks. For, thank, thank you. Glad to show, be here. Uh, I think you can loosen up a little bit now. You no mean, doubt. Yeah, yeah. You, you, I mean, yeah, a little fine on then. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> Every time you can be with Boo Jack, the DJ Boo the Rush, you're going you to have some fun. That's what it's all about. We have a good time here on the show, man. Thank you for coming on and letting us explain everything yes. uh, to the people out there that want to be interested in the prepay. Yes. Uh, I mean, it's not mandatory, like you said. Right. It's not mandatory. It's by choice. If you want to, you know, get this program, you Precisely. can. Yeah. And that's save on a lot of energy because if you. Yeah. You know, if you got a smartphone, I said, look, man, uh, going up, some must be, I left some yeah, on the house. Exactly. So I go home, you know, tell my, turn it off, turn it off. Exactly. You know what I'm talking about? Say that, say power. that, say money. that, because yes. we got a, we got a real pattern of leaving stuff on. That's true. Everything on. I'm yep. talking about everything is on in the house. Mm -hmm. you be going for hours and hours and everything on the house and you wonder why your bill is high. And so you costs. can't do that. It costs. Yep. So if you got someone's phone, say, hey man, you ain't you, but $2. You know what I'm talking about? You're going to be very happy. That's right. Leave it. <laughs> <laughs> you got two dollars here. That's good. Yes. But uh, thank you for coming and explaining the thing to us. You, if you got anything else new, you know, UBT Gap, come, feel free to come back on the show and explain to the people. We'll definitely yeah. do it. Shout thank out. you again. Shout out. You got to get some shout out to some people. Uh, shout yeah. out to my uh, <laughs> people at UBT. Uh, definitely very proud of all of our workers there. Uh, you do a great job, and uh, we want you to continue. Continue doing that because we want to serve this community well. Great, great, great. Well, and also, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, do a shout out to our board members. We have a great uh, board of directors that uh, are really doing a fantastic job, and we're very proud of them. We thank you, board members, for uh, being advocates for this town right. and helping us to be as good as we are. All right. Now, 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 listen. Now, what he forgot about? Tell the truth, y'all. What he forgot about? Your wife. We tell, oh, oh, baby. Oh, oh, oh man. I'm going to get shot when oh. I get home. <laughs> Darlene, I love you, baby. <laughs> I'll never forget you. <laughs> Have my food ready when I get home, baby. <laughs> I thank y'all for coming on the show. All we right. try to let you know. <laughs> and you're going to get some real serious trouble. You're going to give a shout out to your you wife. You know it. But a lot of people got on the show and did the same <laughs> thing, but we had to remind them. I appreciate that reminder. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming on the show, Jerry Lord, man. That's concluded our report out here. Uh, the best station in the nation, 1.7 WBZ. We got Pat Wallace again. We're going to do it again. We got Pat Wallace again. We're a smart guy. The, I mean, Jordan in the building. You got to give me a look before you before I say it. Gotta have what make me ever make me remember remember it you know what i'm saying <laughs> city, butch. thank everybody for coming on the show man we had a good time today thank you thank you thank you, thank you sir <laughs>